Hi, on this week's Tuesday Tech Tips, I'm going to share with you an absolutely brilliant free web app that allows you and your learners to create video slideshows in just a few minutes. The video slideshows are created from uploaded photos, text or videos and can be used as evidence of showing learning or progress over time when the learner is developing a skill. The opportunities are endless. So, if you've never used Adobe Spark before, you're in for a treat. Okay, so as always, you'll need to head over to the website and sign up for a free account. If your organization has got an Adobe account, you can log in for that. But for now, we'll just go for the free account. Okay, so you'll be brought to a page like this and we're gonna create a new Spark. And then you can choose from a variety of different options. You've got graphics, web pages, and video. We're gonna create a video. Uh, it, they give you different um, options. So we could take for a slideshow. I'm going to name it. So I'm going to name this test spark. And then you've got different templates you can do, or you can start your session from scratch. So I'm going to go from scratch. They also give you a short tutorial themselves. So you can go through that and then we click ready. So it gives you two slides to start with. Now the free account will produce the video with this Adobe Spark logo. It's quite inconspicuous. It, I don't think it's going to make any difference at all. If you were wanted to do something for a professional company and you wanted to brand it, then you would sign up for uh, an Adobe account. So to start with, we're going to upload a couple of photos. So you can go to the upload photo. So click the photo button. Now over on the right hand side, it gives you options to search for photos that are already online and in the Adobe stock. You can also connect it to a Dropbox or Google, uh, or you can upload your own photo. So we're gonna upload photo. So we'll go for this one first. And then if we go to layout, you can see you've got four options for a layout. So here, we're gonna go for, I think we'll go for a split screen. So click that. And then we can add some text or another photo. So we're going to add some text here. So Lane Bricks Day File. It could be anything that you want to put in there. So that's your first slide. And then we're going to add a second slide. If we go to here and click the Add Slide button. And this time we're going to add a full screen image. And we're going to upload a photo into that. Again, we'll upload. And open. So that's the second, and then we'll do a third. So this one can be title and text. And again, we're going to upload a photo. And then we can change this to... Okay, so that's those. Next, The next thing we're going to do is upload a video. So we've uploaded the video, and then you've got 10 seconds of video that you can play. If you wanted to show more than 10 seconds of a video, you'd create another slide and then move this across to the next section and keep uploading that way. So we can decide which section of the video we want and we can also shorten the length of that that, that plays. But we'll keep it there and we'll go to save. And then lastly, we can click and add. And this time we're gonna just create text onto the page. So we're just gonna use text and we're gonna call this learning journal. And then we could add some more text in here. If you wanted to make the text smaller, you can. So you can fit more on. So this might be to explain a process or progress over time. So there we go. We've got now the layout. Now, what if we wanted to change the colors? Well, we could go to theme and think, right, we're using this title theme. You could choose from any of these and it changes the, the fonts and the layout. If we go back to Tidal, within that theme, you can change the colors. So you've got full control over that, you can see here. Now to delete a slide, 
you go to the three buttons and then hide credit. So now what we can do is preview our Spark. So go to preview. It's really quick, it's really easy to use. Now if you wanted to, it comes with music. If you go into the music, you can turn the music off so you don't have any music on at all. Or you can change music, you can add your own songs. Obviously you need to be careful of copyright. Or you can choose one from their stock, which is free and uh, licensed for this use. So you can preview them. So let's choose that. So just click it, as soon as you get the tick, you know that that's what it's chosen. So again, we can preview. Now we've got the order a little bit wrong, so let's just click that and drag the order around. Let's put the video in here. Let's preview that. It's lovely and smooth, it's so easy to use. So there we go, so now what we can do is download it. Takes a little bit of time to prepare. And it's downloaded as an MP4. So if we double click that MP4. Brilliant, now the free version, you do get this final slide. I don't think that matters at all for the purposes that we wanna use it for. There's lots of other options that they offer you uh, for the graphic side of things and web pages. So it's really worth having a look at. It's completely free. It'd be brilliant for learners to show evidence of their learning, show learning progress over time, having a learning journal. It's brilliant for you if you wanted to create videos for Flip Classroom or resources for your sessions, explainer videos. It's so easy, just after a couple of minutes, you've got a really slick video to share with your learners. So that's Adobe Spark. That's this week's Tuesday Tech Tips. If there's anything you'd like me to cover in a future video, then please just get in touch and I'll see you next week.